is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be using the Morphe James Charles palette. This I ordered from Ulta earlier this week and like when they first got it uh, because I don't order from Morphe because I'm too cheap to pay shipping but Ulta had it so I bought it and it arrived on my doorstep eight hours ago so I'm just going to film a tutorial review for you right now. So right away my first impression is that this palette is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Like I've seen pictures of it online, I just don't know why I thought it was smaller I guess. Um, I also have not watched anybody else's YouTube video yet regarding this palette because I really wanted to just like form my own opinions without um, sort of seeing everybody else's opinions first. So I tried really hard to stay away from other people's opinions before I was able to film mine. So here we go. It is a giant palette and I don't know where I'm going to store this, but it, it's actually pretty slim, which I appreciate. And when you open it, it's got a little piece of plastic in here. It's got all of the shade names. And here is what the palette looks like. This palette is absolutely huge. Um, if you have been on my channel for a second, you will know that I have been working a lot with the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments. And I really did not need another colorful palette, but this was just so pretty. It had a lot of shimmers as well, whereas like the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments were all matte. And also I was really intrigued by this matte white right here because matte whites are really hard to find. And when you, so like people usually have them in singles, but also the matte black I thought was also another good addition to my collection. But all the other colors I felt, you know, is still wearable. Like you can still create a neutral look with these with a lot of you know, the colors up here, um, but you can also do a colorful look. So for $40, I think first impression is that it is a pretty good deal. So instead of like wasting your time and swatching all these colors for you, as I'm sure you probably have already seen a bunch of other people's either review or Instagram pictures of them, I'm just going to pick a couple colors that I was really intrigued by and um, swatch those for you. Okay, so right away when I picked up from the white, it picked up great, but then like when I rub it into the orange, the pan is like falling out. It's like moving. See, do you, did you see that? Like this orange pan is like not actually like glued very well. Uh, so that's disappointing already. So right away, here are some colors that I picked. And the orange one was the only one that like wanted to fall out of the pan. Also, do you see all this fallout with the orange? I don't know. That's already like my least favorite color, but I'm going to swatch these for you real quick. I know there was, okay, so I know I said I st stayed away from all these like YouTube videos about these colors. I did briefly see a clip of James Charles's video where people were like, oh my gosh, he faked the swatches and like all that drama. But on first impressions, they swatched okay. They're not amazing. Maybe let me try a couple more. So here are just a couple more colors that I picked from the other colors of the palette and I'm just going to try these as well. I feel like I'm like not very good at swatches either, you guys. Okay, so my hands, my arm is actually kind of dry. I don't have any moisturizer on them. Um, but first impression is that the swatches are okay. I think these are definitely workable. I don't think they're absolutely phenomenal. Like, by the way, don't take this as like a personal attack on Morphe or James Charles or anything. This is like literally what I think of the actual product. I think it's good. I don't think it's phenomenal, but I don't know. I could be convinced either way when they go on my eyes. So let's do the tutorial. Okay, so to set the foundation that I currently have in my eyes, I'm going to take this color right here. Kind of looks like a banana powder kind of color, kind of yellow tan. Can you grab me a roll of paper towels? Mm -hmm. So I think because I've been sort of skewing warm lately, I'm going to be trying some of these colors up here where it's like the greens, the blues, the purples that I don't normally work with a lot. So right away, I think I'm going to take this light green right here and just pop that into the inner half of my crease. I think I want this to go kind of from blue to green just up in my crease so you can see the different colors. 
Okay, so it took quite a few layers to sort of get it to this point. There is also quite a bit of fallout in this palette. This sounds just so big and awkward. But there was also quite a bit of fallout um, around this light green just from like me poking my brush into it. But there does not seem to be fallout on my face yet. So I think we will move on to a bit of the blue. So I'm going to take this light blue right here. Um, it kind of matches that green in terms of like vibrancy and lightness. And I'm just going to be put putting this in my crease uh, in the outer half, like kind of out further where my wing would be when I maybe put that on. I guess I haven't decided if I'm going to put a wing on this yet. Okay, so the blue took significantly less effort than the green, so I'm happy about that. Next, I'm going to take this purple right here. It's sort of the darkest purple that is in this palette. And I'm just picking that up with a different brush and I'm putting this in my outer corners of my eyes. I'm really just like going for a real colorful look today just because of how many colors are freaking in this palette, you guys. So the purple is kind of performing similar to the blue in terms of like pigmentation. I feel like with the green, it just took so many dips back into the pan um, to get that color to build up on my eyes. But this purple, I feel like, and the blue were both, like they're both pretty decent in terms of color payoff. So I'm pretty happy about that. With really colorful, um, eyeshadows like this I actually don't like it when they're like super strong just because you want to be able to build them up um, just in case you pick up a little too much right away so I actually am content with how the blue and the purple are both performing next I'm just going to take this BH Cosmetics concealer and I am going to do a cut crease I originally wanted to do a purple here where my cut crease is but I guess I'm not quite sure anymore uh, the purple pressed glitter in this just looks really pretty, but I feel like there's so many like pretty colors in here that would go well with this look. So what I'm going to do real quick is to set with the white. I feel like that will just help bring out the color. And I'm just going to set this part with the white. It already like annoys me that this doesn't have a palette, or a palette, a mirror, because I now have to hold like so many different things, because God knows my desk is so messy that I can't like really put things on it anymore, but here we go. I feel like the white powder did like legitimately lighten up that cut crease, which is what I, you know, really want to go for because I want this to pop. But I'm going to go in with this shimmery blue. This is the one that I swatched um, earlier in this video. Um, I feel like on camera it's not really showing up all that well because it is very light. I feel like the concealer, that, I don't know, can you guys tell the difference with the blue, without the blue? I just feel like with the, with the concealer, it was already looking kind of blue, but it looks really pretty like in real life, so just trust me on this one. So I'm going back in with a little bit of that purple and just blending that cut crease in a little bit better because it is aggressive. I just feel like it was just so aggressive, so well defined that I needed to add more purple on. So I think I think I do like this better actually now that it's more blended. But I'm still really disappointed that that light blue isn't showing up quite as well on camera as it is like in my mirror. It looks really pretty in my mirror even though I know it might just kind of look white to you. I'm also taking that same purple and I'm just going to smoke out the bottom of my lash line with it probably should use a different brush because this one's really fat but I'm a little too lazy to go look for a new one right now so it's gonna be real smoked out and real aggressive okay so for how much is already going on I don't think I'm gonna add blah, my hair is like stuck in my earring um, I don't think I'm gonna add a wing liner I'm just going to put on some lashes finish up the rest of my face and then I'm going to sort of give you my final thoughts on this palette okay so I just finished my look and I do want to add that I also went into the palette and added this color right here um, this little shimmery color into the inner corners of my eyes and I really do like how this eye look turned out I really wasn't sure where I was going with it when I started 
but I like how colorful it is without being like too much I don't know is it too much anyway <clears throat> my final thoughts on this palette so first of all I have only ever owned one Morphe palette in the past and that was the 35W I did declutter it in my video just because it was just something that I never reached for because a lot of the colors in there were too similar and it was like kind of big and awkward so I decluttered that it had a lot of common colors that I had in other palettes this palette is it the best palette ever? Are the, you know, is the formula completely phenomenal? No, I don't think it is. Like, I don't, I know there's a lot of hype about it on social media right now, and I think it's more about just like, you know, the fact that James Charles came out with a palette, and I'm really happy for him, and he, mmm, going places. But I, do think this is worth $40 though like the amount of colors that you get in here and the selection that you get you really do get everything under the rainbow in here and I think it is incredibly worth your money for for $39 um, for what it is my complaints about the palette one I do wish I had a mirror just because for how big this is like you need to just be able to hold it and do your makeup without like having to like peek behind like at a mirror or try to hold another mirror it's just too big and clunky for it to like not have a mirror I feel like also the orange still annoyed that it the pan is like not fully glued to the the palette so I'm not but it's like semi glued so I can't am I supposed to pry it out and re-glue it I don't know also the formulas I feel like okay so when mattes mattes and shimmers obviously are going to have different formulas but the green that I used on my eyes took a long time to build it took like over and over again just to build that green up versus like the blue and the purple didn't take quite as many so I feel like there's inconsistencies between the mattes the orange when I was like swatching it felt more like the green and you can feel that it's like a little bit finer than the like blue and the purple that I have on my eyes also the shimmers the blue one that I used on the inner corners of my eyes did take a little bit to build up as well um, I feel like as much as I was picking up with my fingers for some reason it wasn't just like transferring well or showing well showing up well but the this like shimmer champagne color that I used on the inner corners of my eye was super buttery like gorgeous shimmer formula so I just feel like there are some inconsistencies between the formulas in this palette granted the color range is so wide and I know that it is harder to formulate certain colors um, and so I'm not totally holding that against them I just think that you know this is one of those palettes where you get and then you just have to like learn how to work with all the colors that are in here I think they're all def you can definitely work with all of them you know like the one even the green that it just took a while to build like it still showed up like a really pretty green on my eyes so I got there it just took me a little bit longer so yes in summary do I think this is worth $39 do I think you should pick it up yes D just don't expect this to be like the most amazing palette you've ever had so that is it for my review today and my tutorial I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, I honestly just tried to give you like what I thought right now just putting them on my eyes my honest feedback again I'm not like I don't feel like this was a negative review to be honest like I don't feel like I had anything terrible to say so like don't come after me but I hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video and thank you guys so much for watching bye